Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my invasion series for Minecraft. So, last episode we went on a little bit of a run, pick up some stuff. We grabbed a bunch of workbench. We actually got 16 crafting tables, which was awesome. We really needed them because uh, we've been burning through them really fast. So, we're going to build a few things today. Um, I did, had to go upstairs and chop a lot of trees to get some wood for what we want to do here. So, uh, what we're going to do... Let's bring these guys out. So I'm going to show you a couple things. I think we already. I think I already showed you this one. Uh, so building these storage bins, you just need to make your wood casing, which is really relatively simple. It's just a uh, block of wood in the center with uh, wood planks and sticks. Wood planks in the corners, sticks on the sides, and it makes this casing. And then four chests plus four pieces of wood, and the casing gives you your small storage crate, which you can use and drop down anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to put it on top of here for now. Uh, you can put it anywhere, but I mean, there you go. So that's that's that. That's pretty simple. And the next thing we want to do is we want to make some strainers. So we're going to do this. We're going to make three of them. Um, so we've got some strainers here. So these are the bases. Now, um, we're going to put them... you got to put them down one block under the water. So this is why I built this here. So we're going to put them down here. Like this and I think in order for them to work properly they have to have water on both sides I think they just need to have water somewhere but I think it has to be on both sides of them so usually this is how I build it three water on each side and then the three down the center um, you can have as many as you want you can run one you can run 50 whatever you want to do but it's going to give you some relative uh, relatively free resources okay so we're gonna build some strainers now so this is the survivalist strainer. Um, you can see here it basically finds a lot of small items, right? Just by dropping it in the water. And then we've got our regular strainer, which finds different things, right? Some of them are the same, but most of them are different things. And then we got our another strainer, the wide strainer. And this finds bigger items. It'll find barbed wire. Uh, you can often get redstone in here too. So it'll pick, pick you up a few things. So we're going to grab all three of those. Now that's a quest uh, right here. So we get this one completed. I'm going to pick up a medical click, uh, crate airdrop. And we get a fisherman's strainer. Now this one you need bait for. Now if you don't have food uh, or any way to get food, that's a always, like, you know, obviously the good thing to have is the fisherman's strainer. Uh, I think you need to put bait. And I think a bait is like um, these plus a string, I think. Something like that. Um, or it could be bone meal plus string. There's different different types of bait to catch different types of fish, but you can use the fisherman strainer here. You know, finds enchanted. You can get enchanted books, uh, shrimp, all different kinds of things, sticks, rock, octopus, salt. Whoop! Don't want that. So um, you know, it'll pick up pick you up a lot of stuff. Uh, so let's just drop you in here for now, and we're gonna come over here before we do anything else. We're gonna drop our Gonna make some more steel here and some more coal coke. So we're gonna get these guys running. Um, so we're gonna come over here and then we're gonna drop our strainer bases. I put the I usually put the wide one on the outside. It doesn't really matter where you put them. But then they'll just start. Just leave them. They'll start collecting stuff. Um, yeah, see this one's got stick already. This one's got nothing. Um, usually, yeah, this one's got a stick. So you just you know you come back in a while. I put these barrels here because all the junk that we don't need is just going to go in these barrels. I'll just sort it all out. Uh, but there's a lot of junk that you'll get that you probably will never have any use for. Um, so these um, we picked up a few of these um, jungle wood planks. So now we're just going to grow some of this stuff inside here. And you'll notice over in the corner here. I put the nether wart down just so we can start this growing so we can make some potions and stuff. Now I put these up. Now these, I can't actually put anything in. They're just for decoration. So unfortunately it's kind of lousy. But um, apparently they store things and they will they can stock items and restock items. I guess if it's for sale or something. I don't know. But these ones are set to not restock. So they're really just decoration for us right now. Um, and I don't think... Yeah, sun's going down. Oh, we got another interloper. Hoping we can... We had one when I was emptying all my backpacks out. So I just kind of jump up in the wall here and I can hopefully get some health back here. Nope. But they did bring us a piece of gold. Thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. A little bit of stone. All right. So we were talking about making a 
farm today, which we're going to attempt to do. Now let's put the gold in here. Stone can go in here. And put the rotten flesh in with the good food because, you know, where else would we put it? Uh, so let's make some more. We do have hardened block right now. Let's make another stack, I think, maybe. So let's gravel. We're going to need to make some more stone, so let's do that. Just make a stack. So 16 clay, I'll make you a stack of stone. Let's do that. There we go. And then we just need 16 sand. So you just use the scroll wheel to roll them up and down here. Okay. And we'll make four more stacks. This is probably going to break the workbench, but nope. Ah, cool. So this is going to give us plenty. Now we want to do some of these too. Uh, just because we want to um, outline the walkway that we're going to build across and the uh, top of the walls with these so that the mobs can't get in. Now we've only got 18 dirt right now. Uh, my bucket, I think, is in here. Yeah, we're going to need water too. Now we could get earthworms and use earthworms, which we might actually end up doing because we have to do the earthworm quest anyway. What the hell? Oh, well, let's get our... Or we forget. Let's get our. Um, oh, we got lots of them, so. Ho, ho, ho! Alright, let's keep this here. We don't need you right now. So, we're going to go find us some earthworms. I'm going to keep my spam on me. I want to eat it up. Get it out of here. Spam in a can. Okay, so it's a nice bright night out tonight. Last time when I was out here digging it up, it was really dark. Let's see if we can get some health back from any of these guys. Come on, buddy. A little higher and he, nope drifted must be windy tonight there we go and no health so we gotta, we gotta watch out we had a bear on us the other night but we could just jump away from them okay so I am going to dig some of this up uh, and then start laying down the foundation and I will be right back all right guys so I got a bunch of work done already uh, I have to make some more concrete though we ran low. We, we had enough to build the boxy uh, greenhouse, which really isn't really a, so much of a greenhouse as a big box, but that's fine. Uh, let's go out and have a look what we've got here done. So we're going to go up. Uh, yeah, we had a couple attacks from Herobrine last night uh, or during the day while we were building this, so we had to be very careful. Uh, so this is kind of what I'm going for. It's not very big. It's a 9x9 nine nine internally. So it's kind of okay. It gives us enough to jump up in the walls if we have to defend the base. Um, I basically put the torches that we had in here out a little farther. There was only a couple that we had extra, so I had to put them out a bit farther. Uh, what I'm doing under here is we're going to extend this under here. I have a little balcony out here. Um, so let's actually go down and finish that up right now. Uh, we're going to do this with it. And then... Just to protect from fish. Shouldn't have any mobs spawning here. Um, I'm planning on filling this all in with concrete. We'll do that a little later, but right now I just want to kind of do this. Okay, let's get these laid out here. And then we're going to put these across here. So we don't really have to worry too much about mobs getting in this way. I mean, they can kind of nerd pull over this a little bit, but... We had guys nerd pulling into the base from before. I think if we kind of just do this with it... There we go. We shouldn't have to worry about them getting in now. Put this guy up, like, right here. Let's move you down a little bit. And let's actually... You know what? Let's go ahead and do this right now. Alright, so that should do that. That's no problem. Okay, so, oh, what's up, buddy? Didn't have very many guys last night. Raiders, that is. Grab the free resources, because why not? All right, so, uh, we'll get some tiny torches a little later, light this up a little bit. It's only for when it gets really dark at night. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make an area we can just drop down on here. We're not actually breaking anything. So let's take a couple of these. And we're going to go and get some worms in a second. 
Um, that's pretty simple to do. Let's put these in here. I had to go get some more dirt. We didn't really have a lot. We still don't have a lot. There's not a lot of regular dirt around here. Um, there's all this crap dirt, which is no good for growing stuff on. But we can, I think, get worms off of it, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure we can. There we go. Worms. So the worms will keep land irrigated without having to put in, so like a, that'll do, yeah, see that corner there, we can put this guy right here. Actually, we should probably move this guy over. I can't remember how to get him back now. Did he die? He died. We need to get some more, but that was a quest, so we can get some worms back from the quest. So he's going to keep this land irrigated. There's no water. It's a little tougher for him to do that, but you don't need to actually get... Um, did I hear a brine again? Nope, just some jerk. What's up, buddy? Decided you were... It's Jack asked. You decided to come over here and give me some stone, did you? It's always welcome. Come on. You want to give me some more stone? That's good. Thank you. All right, we're just going to collect the stone real fast. Okay, so that was that done. So we're going to have to get some more worms, but that was a quest. So we, I think we get it. Like I think we get two more worms, or four worms, or something. So let's go in here. We're going to start working on putting some stuff out there too. So let's put that in here. Um, this goes in here. This goes in here, and then we can put. Let's just dump the stuff back in here for now. We're not going to use any of it right now, so. We'll do that. We can put the hoe in here for now. We'll move this chest over probably, uh, but not right away. So we're going to get the industrial hemp going. Uh, what else do we have in here that we want to really get going? We need beetroot seeds. We need some red dye, so we want to put these guys down. Let's get the potatoes going because we do have a potato gun turret, so we can see if we can get those going. Uh, let's finish up that quest here. Worms. We get three of them. Yay! And some bone meal, which we should probably keep out with us. We want to get these guys going really fast, the industrial hemp. So we got a ton of bones here. Boom. That should do it. That should give us plenty of hemp. And we need a crap ton. And when I mean a crap ton, I mean a, like we need like four stacks of industrial hemp in order to make a windmill. Yeah, it's going to be fun doing that. Okay, so uh, what do we need to do here? Let's see what else we can plant. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just go with this first. Uh, we'll probably just do industrial hemp. Hemp. Uh, let's put these guys here for now. We'll just do industrial hemp first. Um, get that out of the way with. Uh, just so we can make a windmill and start generating some power. Uh, I don't want to be going too long without just power here. Put one guy there. And then one guy here. And then here. And that should do those. Let's move some of this dirt over. So, one, two. Let's actually get this over here. Bugs. Ew, bugs. Okay, so that should just do those. Let's hit F7. Let's make sure we got nothing spawning in here. Nope. Alright, that should keep those irrigated. So, let's start out with the industrial hemp here. And our bone meal. This is going to be lots of fun. Oh. I think that was here, Brian. Yep, it is. He's back again. Come on, buddy. Better pull it up. And a screamer. Come on, punk. Thanks for the free ender pearl. That's like three times now. In like one day, this jerk has come and bothered me. Maybe it's the crops, I don't know. Yeah, see, like he freezes water. I actually had him one time, uh, way back when I was initially playing. He actually um, froze me under the water. I, I, I crap you not, he froze me under the water, the jerk, and I died because I drowned. 
I was down picking up clay. So this one is actually fully grown underneath here. It just doesn't look like it is. Okay, keep planting. So industrial hemp goes really fast compared to a lot of the other uh, um, plants in the game. This stuff grows really, really fast, like on its own. Uh, so you could do it on your own, but like I said, collect the bones. Um, the great thing about it is that uh, once you start, like you got tons of stacks of bone meal, because this stuff grows so fast, you can like bone meal the hell out of it and you can get a windmill in no time. Ah, oh, crap. It's a good thing you can't climb up here. Screw you! Didn't leave me anything. So I hate rats because they steal your stuff. I have lost so many things to rats. It's not so like rats by themselves, easy enough, right? You just kill them. They're not they're not tough. You can punch them to death. It's easy. Um, and they do very little damage. The biggest problem though is if you encounter them with a stack of guys, right? You get a stack of uh, bad guys at the same time. Um, and you're stuck fighting the bad guys. And then they steal your sword or something along that line. It's just such a pain. Sometimes it's good to just like have more than one. Uh... Oh crap, I need a terabyte again. It sure is. Come on, buddy. I'm right here, bring it. I don't know why he's coming so often. He probably doesn't like me kicking the crap out of him. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Where's my ender pearl? You cheapskate. I'm not sure why he's all of a sudden spawning so much. It could be that it's like day 16 or 17. Maybe he just spawns on certain days. I have no idea. But that's like three times in one day. And then he was spawning a few more times there before. So I have no idea what's up with him. All right, we got a ton of industrial hemp right now. I don't know why he didn't leave us the... Uh, somebody else out there now. Maybe it is the day, I don't know. Don't know, don't care. Just get this hemp done. Maybe it's because, maybe the more operations like this you do, it just attracts mobs. That's a possibility. I know you craft more. Um, like using crafting tables will generate heat in an area so the mobs will spawn. I don't mean like heat as in like temperature heat. Heat as in like Hey, there's something going on over here, Heat. I have no idea if that's here, Brian, or not. Doesn't sound like him. Then again, what does Hero Brian really sound like, considering he's supposed to be fictitious? All right, we've almost got enough. Let's get these going here. One more run through. We should probably have enough. There's 45 of these now. So, once we get the first windmill up and running, we got power being generated. Um, most likely what we'll do is we'll uh, get a second one going at some point. Wow, I got enough seeds now. I should really check to see who this is. Oh, clown face. What's up, buddy? Leaving me your eyeballs. No, thank you. So I am further away from the water too, like the edge of the water, which is why we're getting more um, mob spawns, I think. 
once we just leave the garden to grow and come out every once in a while it should uh, we shouldn't encounter too much out here come on really all right there we go let's plant all these back oh man we got like over a stack of seeds now too so we have enough to make a windmill cool so now we'll have to go back in and make all the other stuff that we need for the windmill which I think we've got more than enough for. Let's go back inside. Uh, we're probably going to need wood. So let's grab that while we're out here. Um, we have to make um, treated wood. Because that's what immersive engineering runs on. Alright, so that's that done. Let's go back inside. We should have enough wood now. And I think we got enough creosite. Yeah, we got tons. Nice. Let's take this out of here too. Get our steel out of here and our slag. And put these in here. So, I don't know how you, feel, how you guys feel about me maintaining the base off camera. It's probably a better way to do it. Put the bone meal back in. Uh, we got some stone. We got a, got a stack and a bit of stone. That's nice. Okay, this. So we only need to have this many out. Let's put these guys in here for the second one. Put these guys away. All right. So we need um, one steel. And we're going to need a stink ton of uh, creosite wood. So let's get this chopped up real fast. Okay, that's chopped up. I don't know if we'll have enough. We should have enough wood, I think. Pretty close. All right, so we got our bucket out. Let's put the bucket in here. I think we're going to need more wood, actually, now that I think about it, because uh, I don't think this will be enough. We need first thing we need to do is make some blades. Do that. So I'm going to do this real quick. Let's actually grab these sticks because we're going to need these too. So let me just go back and forth and do this real fast so we have all our resources, and then we'll get on. Um, and getting that windmill up and running. All right, so this is the creosite wood. Now we need to make uh, eight of these blades. I hope we have enough wood for this. So, so let's chop some of this into sticks. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I forgot you don't chop it. You got to do it this way. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six blades. This should be enough, I think. So there's another, the other six. Uh, yeah, it looks like we will. Perfect. And we got a little bit of wood left over. All right. So the next thing we need to do is to do this. We need to make uh, all of our stacks of this. Which we didn't do quite well there. One more stack. Surprised we didn't break the workbench, but that's fine. We need 32 of these. Then we add our windmill blade and we do this. There we go. Eight windmills. And then we do that. And this. And there is our improved windmill. So that's just the blade. Now we need to make a... Um, let's break this real fast. We need to make um, the dynamo to actually um, get the power from. So that is a little trickier. I, to, I don't really remember how to do that now. Um... can't remember if it was a redstone um, I think it's a capacitor is it a capacitor I don't see it there anywhere it's not a capacitor uh, dynamo there we go this is what we got to make here kinetic dynamo all right so we need three iron two redstone and then we need LV wire around iron and LV wire is copper wire. I guess it gives us four, so copper wire around. Right, okay, so let's do. We gotta make copper wire, so we need two of these or four of these. Let's just get four. Might as well make extra wire if we. Um, actually, you know, yeah, we'll make extra wire because we'll uh, be making a second one in the, in the next little while. So maybe we make two kinetic dynamos. I think we maybe go ahead and do that. So we need six of these, right? Um, right, six of these, and we need four redstone. Uh, that's for this, and then for this, 
We need two more iron, and the rest is copper around st regular sticks. Okay, so we need two more iron. Um, right. Hope I'm getting this this recipe correct. And then we're going to power up this guy by moving over our furnace generator. It'll be nice when we don't have to do this. So I'm really just minimizing our resources just by moving this back and forth. Oh, shoot. Let's, uh, meh. I forgot we need the um, wire press. So when you drop this in here, you just right click to replace it, and it just drops this one on the ground. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but that's just how it works. All right, so now we can put our sticks back in, generate some power. Let's get this thing working. I think each one of these will generate two. That's two, four, six. We may have to do more. That's f wait. Yeah, that's, we need to do four more here. Hope we got enough uh, power for this. I think we will. We're going to have enough here to uh, do two dynamos because we want to do a second one of those windmills. We're going to put them up uh, back to back, double our generation of power. Now windmills need to be placed uh, as high in the world as you possibly can. And it's got to do with block height. It's got nothing to do, nothing to do with anything else but block height. And also it'll generate more power in uh, windy conditions and stuff. Wow! How much did we lose? If we lost anything. Hope we didn't lose anything. Doesn't look like we did. We got 60. So we made stuff. Alright, cool. Actually, we don't need any more of this now. So let's not just let's not use it up if we don't need to. We might can use, be able to use that copper wire for something else later on. Okay, so now we put these guys in here. And we make two of these guys. And then we make two of these guys. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. I have a gen tendency to need more plates than anything else. Okay, and we're gonna pick up this stuff. But we're gonna make a brewing stand a little later on, so we'll do that. Put this in here. All right, so we're gonna put the extra dynamo here for now. And I think next episode we'll build a windmill. I'll get everything I need. I'm gonna need more wire. Um, just to be able to run some power, but we're not, I don't think I'm going to do it with regular wire. Uh, what I want to do it with, um, and it'll take more resources, but we're going to do it with the energy conduit, uh, and I want to put it right above where I want all my machines. So my machines are going to be here, so my windmill will probably be right above here. Uh, I'll bring it up as high as we possibly can. It's one of the things about being down at water level that's uh, a little bit difficult, is making the uh, tower high enough to really get good power. Um, so we're going to make a, the tower really, really high, um, and uh, well, it's not really like really, really high, but high enough. Um, we'll probably make it out of all concrete, and we'll put the windmill on the top. A couple ladders going up, and we'll run the power cable straight down into here. Probably put all our machines along this wall. Uh, we're going to have a few of them. We're also going to need to make a capacitor bank, which I think we've got enough to do. We need a block of redstone. Like there's a bunch of quests in. Let's bring out our book here. Where are you? Here you are. Okay, actually I can put these guys in here now. Um, so if we go back here, we go to infrastructure and open up. So just past this diamond quest, once we do tanks a lot, um, there's more quests that open up down here. Uh, so we'll get those done. We can actually make uh, barbed wire here if we want to, razor wire. But this razor wire, um, if we go show you here, Sorry for my slow typing skills, but razor, razor wire. So it's steel plates and steel wire um, to make three razor wire. So it's fairly, fairly expensive. But the great thing about this, if you line the edge of your walls with it, the mobs just walk into it and, and just take damage continuously until they die. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using razor wire later on in the game when the mobs get really, really tough. Uh, but at this, at this moment in time, we really don't have to worry too much about it. So we'll just leave that. Uh, and just before we go here, I'm just going to show you so we've been running the strainers for the whole episode, and you can see here it's starting to fill up. Uh, slime balls, silver, obsidian powder, which really is only used for a couple of things. Nickel grit, lead grit, get some glowstone dust. Crushed diamond, I'll show you what we can do with this in a second. Uh, powdered tin, powdered uh, copper grit. Um, 
and red orchids. These you can use to plant on redstone to make uh, uh, like a redstone plant to grow redstone. So that's the that's the narrow strainer. So you can get some good materials out of this. You can't get any iron grid, unfortunately, but that's fine. And then here, you notice we've been picking up nickel, iron, and more nickel nuggets. I don't know why these are separated, but they are. Uh, ender shards. So we get shards of ender, which is kind of cool. We need these for a recipe later on. Um, regular stone, which is good so you don't have to cook stone into, into stone. Um, gravel. Oh yeah, I took, uh, uh, the reason why this is all mixed up is I took wood out of here. And you notice here how it's not stacking them like it should. It just fills spaces, so empty spaces. So in here we've got brick, uh, raw fish, some empty cans. We didn't get any barbed wire, uh, but it's not finished its, its task. Here we've got tons of sticks, redstone, and we can use these sticks for fuel. So, and then we got wood planks, regular wood bars, uh, or wooden, like uh, regular wood, uh, polished dorite, sand, regular dorite. We can use these for arrowheads, uh, um, leather boots, which we can cut into regular leather. So there's a fair bit of stuff, sand, gravel, clay, um, binder composite, which is interesting. So you can find all the resources you need to make concrete in here. Uh, we've got three banners that we can put out a little later on. They're just red banners. We'll just put them out. So last thing we, before we go here, let's take this crushed diamond. I'm going to dump the stuff off in here too. So we've got the iron nuggets. We'll put that in there. So the crushed diamond, you just take, might as well just throw it in here. And boom, you get diamonds from it. It's awesome. So you can get just, if you have a bunch of strainers out, uh, the narrow strainers, you can generate a ton of diamonds. You can have yourself in a full set of diamond, diamond armor in no time if you really work at it, um, just for like wood and iron resources. So any of the iron bars you can pick up in the wood are in the world. The wood is really all you need to, uh, after that to make chests and stuff with. So that's about it. All right, so we're going to leave the episode there as the morning comes up the next day. I'm going to do a few things between episodes. Um, and when we come back next time, we'll work on building a windmill to get power generation going. That's going to take a little while. Uh, I'm going to clean out those things in there. We'll make some more. Um, I'll probably put a narrow one in and two large ones because I want to try and get some barbed wire. I want to throw it outside uh, just to get rid of Herobrine and stuff. So, and... We'll work on the farm in the meantime. I'm going to have to find some more dirt, but that'll be when we go out in a runabout. We're going to do another uh, run, not next episode, but maybe the one after. All right, so we'll leave the episode here. I hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Got, I'm going to have lots of stuff coming up on my channel, um, lots of different content. Um, so, yeah, uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. And if you got any comments or questions, drop them in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.